Word, son. What do you do, YouTube? Make sure you watch that Vine. All right, man, before we get into this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share the word, spread the links, because you know how I do. If you haven't already, you can hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon to so be notified every time I upload. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, man, so um, in the background here, I got the clip looped up, man, so I'm going to talk about it as it plays in the background. But um, I, I really feel like we need to talk about this th this topic at hand here because I see this happening way too much in Madden and people don't talk about it enough because when it happens, it, they're always on the positive side of it because it's either affording them a touchdown or somewhat of a big game. But, you know, there's not a lot of people talking about, you know, this topic at hand here in the people who get talked about always end up getting outed and talk about how trash they are and, you know, just ignoring the issue at hand, just like always. So, um, so what I'm trying to say here is a lot of safeties and corners, especially in Madden, when they're playing a deep zone or let's just say a deep blue, anytime they're playing a deep blue like this, they always seem to turn their back all the time. And I don't know why they do this, especially when the play is just starting. They always happen to turn their back 90%, 95% of the time. This to me frustrates frustrates the crap out of me. I can't stand it. Why is it that Clint every time whenever a safety or a corner is playing a deep blue, you have him immediately turn his back and run up to a deep blue. And then even then they're so they're they're so trained to run up, you know, run back to their zone that if somebody cuts back in front of them or cuts back behind them, I'm sorry they're not going to be able to react to that because they're not looking at the quarterback. They're they're being coded to run to their zone and then we'll turn around and think about looking at to see exactly where exactly the play is going to go. A lot of corners and safety that, safeties that I've seen play in a deep zone like this, they all backpedal. All of them corners and safeties start out as a backpedal. Now, what happens after the backpedal is questionable because, you know, once you get a few backpedals in, you don't really know if the guy's going to run a streak. He gonna run a, he's going to run a, a, a comeback route. He's going to run a curl. He's going to run in. He's a, a out, a post route, deep post, short post, mid post, post, in or out. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? But just for the simple fact of that matter, let's, let's just say that he's running the, let's say that he's running a um i don't know let's say a post or something let's say a mid post right now I'm, I'm just i'm hypothetically speaking you know if 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 my guy's backpedaling right which most corners and safeties they have even not to say elite backpedaling, backpedaling skills but they're quick on the backpedal and if they have to they need to break on the ball because you know they're squared up their hips are square so they can react however they need to but in madden every time i turn around and look these guys are always turning their backs and and it, it's it's limiting me playing defense because of how these guys are coded. Clint, I don't understand how you're the gameplay creative director and you let things like this just slip under the radar. And then when we bring it to your attention, you either A, ignore it, B, give some cookie cutter response, or, or C, you'll block somebody because you don't like them calling you out on your job and your, and, and your, your flub ups. You understand what I'm saying? Make this make sense to me. As many of NFL films videos I've seen, the many of the coaching breakdowns I've seen, some of the actual NFL safeties breaking down the plays that they were in, all of those corners and safeties were, were strafing, squared up, backpedaling until further notice. The ones that break on the ball, if you look, most of them were square already. They were already strafing. You know what I'm saying? In Madden, you don't see that a lot. You know what I mean? The only way you get these guys strafing is if I click on them and make them strafe. But other than that, they're always running with their back to the quarterback, and that's not how a corner or a safety plays. Now, mind you, keep this in mind. I have I have never played a, a day of organized football in my life. But as much as as much as football as I've watched, from my cousins to watching the NFL to watching YouTube videos, NFL films, everything that you could possibly name about football, I've watched it. So I have a clear understanding as to how a corner and safety is supposed to play. And anybody out there in this comment section that you think about comment on this video, anybody watching, if you played, if you were a DB, elaborate on this point if you can for me. You know what I'm saying? But this right here, th this is not how you play defense. This is not how a corner or a safety is supposed to react at all. Most of them are square. They're all they're all strafing. They're all, you know, like I said, they're they're backpedaling. And they backpedal until they see A, the guy's about to run past them, or B, they backpedal until they see either the quarterback making a making a short check down throw or somewhere in the middle that's in front of them in their in their field of vision. Nobody turns around and 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 runs with their back to the QB in order for them to get back to their deep blue. Nobody does that, Clint. There's no way you can let this slip under the radar. And the people who don't see a problem with this are the ones that that run crossing routes and don't have a problem with this at all. You understand what I'm saying? So the people who don't have a problem with this, this video ain't for you. So stay out of my comment section because I'm not going to acknowledge you. 
You know what I'm saying? But as far as this goes, you cannot have this constantly be a way of of, of football because it's not this. This isn't it. This is why you get treated like the way you get treated, Clint. You know, it, it's a thing about trying to be professional, but then at the same exact time, Clint, you just you, you seem to just let things slip under the radar. You just let things slip, and hmm, oh well, we'll try to attack it in the next one, and then we try to fix it in the next one. Then you end up breaking something else, Clint. You are you are convoluted right now. I don't know what else to, to call it for you, but you're convoluted right now, Clint. You you are very you are very lackluster in what you do. You do a poor job at managing this game gameplay wise. I said it. Don't care. Don't add me. I said what I said. This cannot continue to go on any further in Madden. For God's sake, John Madden, rest his soul, just passed away just recently. Last year or something like that. Just recently. And this is how you want to mirror this man's idea of football with this type of logic? <sighs> anyway, man, let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Hopefully y'all agree. Let me know if y'all enjoyed the video, man. I uh, appreciate the love and support y'all been showing on this video, man. Make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Share the yeah, share the word, spread the links, because you know how I do. Got tongue-tied. But I'm going to get up out of here, man. It's your boy Jay Devon, and I'm signing out. Peace.